Hi, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. Uh, this one's kind of unique because this is the first time I've ever done a series for complete beginners. I've done some beginner focus series, and I've done some uh, guides and articles and tutorials and such on starting out, but I've never done anything, never a series that starts from the very, very beginning. Uh, so if you're looking to learn game programming and you've got zero prior experience, zero programming experience, nothing, this is the perfect place for you, or at least I hope it is. So what I'm going to aim to do here is teach you programming via game programming. And I'm going to be doing using the Lua programming language in the Love Game Engine. Now, don't worry about the specifics of either of those. They don't matter. And that's a big problem for people just starting out with game programming. You've got too many choices. You're faced with too many problems all at once. And to be frankly honest, you are not equipped to deal with those problems. You don't have context. So you can't say X is better than Y because you've never used X, you've never used Y, and you've never encountered the reasons that make X or Y better than the other. So don't get hung up on the technologies I'm using. Just trust in me that I'm picking stuff that is good for you. Now I will give you a couple of the upsides of why I picked Lua. First off, it's a fairly simple language to learn, so we can jump right in. And there's the second nice point, is it allows you to literally jump right in. Now, with some programming languages, we'd be writing four or five hundred lines of code to get an image up and animated on screen, as opposed to three or four. And one of those things when you're just starting out is feedback and um, a reaction are very important. So a positive feedback loop, that is, I did something, I saw a result. That is the key to learning successfully. And Lou and Love enable us to have those things. And uh, throughout the series, I'm going to focus on teaching you in a way that not only do you come away with a tangible result, but you're also ready to take the next step. I will have blurbs on the text version uh, that will say this is an advanced topic and you can read here for a little bit further. I will go down and point you in the right direction to here's where you go and create art, here's how you can create audio, here's how you put it all together. And the nice thing is I have five years worth of game from scratch content that I can plug in here and there. So you know, this isn't going to take me a hundred million years to create. Now, I did touch on a key point there a second ago. There's going to be a text version of this as well. So I'm going to do a video series and a text series of everything I'm doing. And in fact, I'm actually writing this as a small book. Um, and the book will be published in PDF format for anyone that backs me on Patreon. Uh, maybe sometime way down the road, it might turn into something more. But for the most part, I'm basically just writing this in a book authoring format and then splitting it out into a blog and doing a video version of it. So the PDF compilation is just if you wanted this in a traditional traditional book-like place. Plus, it's a thank you for the patrons that do back me, which, by the way, thank you. So, uh, if you are looking to start out with game programming and don't know where to start, I hope this series is the perfect place. Uh, stay tuned with me. We will be covering a lot of subjects over a lot of time, and hopefully we will get you there. The only requirements I have of you coming in is the ability to operate a computer fluently, and the ability to understand what I'm saying. So um, hopefully that just qualifies as rudimentary English abilities. Uh, but I am going to assume that you understand my level of language right now, so I'm not going to explain things much slower um, than I do at this moment. And I also am going to assume that you just you do know how to use a computer for the most part. Uh, so you know how to download and install software, that kind of stuff. But beyond that, no assumptions. So we are going to walk through setting up your development environment, uh, learning what a variable is, learning about program application execution. But I'm going to do this hopefully in a way that we focus on and we do it well building games. So it stays fun as we go. Now, I can't teach you all of game programming in this short of a time span. I can't Learning how to program efficiently is the work of a lifetime. Learning how to create great art is the work of a lifetime. But I can push you towards the right resources, and I can give you stuff to get you started. Uh, so that's the goal of this series, and hopefully that is interesting to you. Um, stay tuned for it to follow up. We'll have more coming soon. Uh, now, if you're a bit more of an experienced programmer, uh, at the very beginning of this series will probably be uh, mind-numbingly boring for you. We're going to cover stuff that you already know quite well. Now, there might be some stuff in here that nice reinforcer. Um, it could be that you want to learn Lua or Love. 
Uh, in which case, tune in a few episodes down the road, and this will definitely be of interest to you. And hopefully you've got some friends or something in your life that have been asking you how to get into game development, and you can refer them on to this series. But for the most part, if you're an intermediate or an advanced developer, this series is very much not for you. Uh, we're going to be taking things fairly slowly, and we're going to focus on stuff that you've probably already learned. But if you are a beginner, hopefully I'm about to embark on a journey that is very useful to you. Uh, of course, your feedback is important in all of this. If there's there's certain direction you want to see me go, if there's certain things you want to see covered within this series, please let me know in the comments down below. And just because I'm starting this series off, don't worry, I'm still doing many, many other things on Game From Scratch. There's still going to be more advanced uh, series coming out that will still be um, covering various game engines, other tutorials, etc. So this is just something else I'm working on on top of everything else. So I hope that sounds interesting to you. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned. See you later. Bye.